With the Australian Open taking centre stage in the world of tennis, this week it was fitting for ATP World Tour Uncovered to catch up with an Aussie legend and one of the greatest players of all time. Rod Laver defined the expression, natural talent. It's the, the Australian uh, outlook on, on, on life was something, because when you look back at, there was only a few sports really that you could play. My mother played tennis. Uh, we had a tennis court in our backyard. And uh, you know, I just enjoyed the game itself. The, the thing that impressed me most about uh, Rod Laver's game was that he used to beat me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that created quite an impression. He will always be remembered for his achievements on court, but for many it was Labour's leadership and aura away from the court that made him so special. First of all, he was our, uh, you know, the number one player, and um, as in today's tennis where we've got Roger Federer um, as the example, Rod set a, a great example for the younger players of how to handle yourself when you were, you were the best. Um, you you um, were humble about your wins, and and you didn't you were not frightened to praise your opponent if you if you had a loss. '93, I went to Indianapolis, and that's when I had my breakthrough tournament actually. And he was hitting with me, and he was working uh, with nail bags. Uh, Bob Carmichael, my coach at the time, and you know, he was great to come out the court. And he's saying, he's a bit raw, this kid, but you know, I think he's got something there. And it was great having a chat to him back then. So. Having someone like Rod been on the court, um, and he's just such a humble fellow, is, is, is a great role model for not just me, but for the other kids coming through. It's just the way, I, it's my makeup, I guess, that uh, I enjoy, enjoy the competition, and, and you, you, you look at uh, players in the past, and, and what they maybe could have done, and I think that's important to remember some of the things, and so it become part of the history of the game. And I think that's uh, the thing that I felt, you know, yeah, great about was I was given the chance to compete. The humility is one of the things that I think makes you play better and understand you know, the sport. Even Rod Laver had his own role models when he was developing his game. Australia's legendary Davis Cup captain, Harry Hoffman, was one man who stood out. Yeah, Harry was a huge influence. He was one that uh, I always I always looked up to, I remembered listening to various people saying that they you know, marvelled at how Hopman could bring these great young players, whether it be Frank Sedgman and Ken McGregor or Ian Eyre or Mervyn Rose, and then all the way down to uh, Hode, Rosewall. He thought I had some potential. He was the one that called me you know, the rocket, I guess, because I was lackadaisical and I wouldn't really move faster. I could get there. but. I maybe last minute I'd get there quick enough to hit the shot and coming from Rockhampton, the Rockhampton rocket then stuck. <laughs> the other thing about Rod Laver was his ability to um, come back when he was down two sets to love and, and not playing that well and looking like he might lose and you'd be watching at the start of the third set and all of a sudden he'd play one of those magic shots and you'd go, oh, oh. <laughs> he suddenly found his form, look out, here he goes, and sure enough he'd win the next three sets pretty comfortable. The true greats don't need to remind people of their achievements. Humble and exceptional, that is Rod Laver. When you chat to him you think, H here he is, I'm standing next to the guy that I used to watch as a, as a little boy and thinking, well, oh, it, it, it's, 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 he's a remarkable man, an absolutely remarkable man. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, presented by Rio, the man at the moment, we talk to 2013 Australian Open champion Novak Djokovic. And man on a mission, we hit the comeback trail with Gael Monfils, as he gets back to his best. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter. See you next week.